Hi, in this tutorial, I'll discuss about Sling Servlet in AM. How do you write Servlet in AM? So I'll talk about the different ways of writing Servlet. What are the APIs or declarative services available to write Sling Servlet in AM? Uh, what classes you should extend while writing a Servlet? And what is the declarative service 1.2 and 1.4 standard? And what is the difference? So basically, uh, when you write a Servlet in AM, there's two ways, right? Either you can bind that service to a particular resource or a particular path, right? Uh, so, resource type is a preferred way. There are few uh, advantages of writing that, like uh, you can register that servlet with a resource and it's absolute path. This servlet is access controlled using JCI repository as well. Means that uh, because that servlet is bound to a resource, so if you have access to that resource, then only you can access it. Otherwise, not. There is a simple mapping and it's a transparent. You can ma define methods, selectors, and extension. Right? You can define what method it will support. Uh, then another way is writing or bound servlet with a path. So it's an absolute path and uh, this this cannot be controlled right access control or the permission is not applied because it's it's bound to a path you can access that servlet as a resource under a particular path so preferred way is resource type you should follow resource type if any any requirement which is which you cannot achieve using resource type servlet then only you should go with the path type Okay, so there are few basic concepts you should understand before you go into the servlet writing of servlet. So there is three kind of you know way of writing servlet these days, right? OSGI DS 1.4 or Declarative Services 1.4, right? We used to use call it R7. For this, you should have a BND hyphen Maven plugin 4.0 version plus. If you are using, uh, you know, Archetype 20 or plus, you will have this. So don't worry about it. Then there is another one, OSGI DS 1.2. For that, you have Maven hyphen bundle hyphen plugin 3.0 or plus version. So where you should check it in your project, uh, go to the parent form of your project and find uh, these plugins. You you will find the version. And the third one is uh, the generic flex uh, SCR annotation. These are not used now. Uh, these are completely outdated so we will not use it or we will discuss only about these two so when you write a servlet you have to extend some classes so there is a two classes you should extend either one either sling safe method servlet or sling all method servlet when you have a requirement like you have only a read operation right or you have only the get method you then you can use sling safe method servlet right but when you have a requirement to you know read and write both like get and post so in that case you can use sling all method servlet right? so if you define suppose if you extend sling safe method servlet and you try to write post method you will get an error right so in case you have uh, to perform both operation then you have to extend sling all method servlet right so let's understand a basic pseudo code so that you can understand how it look like so this is the pseudo code of uh, declarative services 1.2 so in declarative services 1.2 or r5 we do not have any servlet specific annotation right you will be using at the rate component annotation to write servlet as well so inside at the rate component annotation first of all you have to define service and which is your servlet right and after that inside property you define different different properties right so basically these are the properties which will use to register uh, while registering your servlet you know to write servlet okay and these properties are defined in a constant of uh, sling resolver constants right so whatever property are there either you can use this this kind of string or you can use you know constants so I, i'll show you where that file is whatever the properties are there you can write those properties here as per your requirement okay so let me show you that okay so you will see his uh, resource resolver constant. So all these properties are available. Whatever properties are here, you can write those properties, right? Uh, these properties are used while registering your, you know, servlet. Okay. So I'll give the URL of this. The more you can read here. Okay. So now let's understand how you can write servlet. So as per the DS 1.2. So first of all, you 
can define suppose you want to define that servlet or you want to bind that servlet with the path so you can define sling servlet path and then you can define path right your path can start with slash bin or you can give some custom path but if you give some custom path there is a configuration you have to update that path we'll see that in detail when i'll show you the complete demo about this kind of servlet okay you can add more than one path so whatever the path you add your servlet will be accessible on those paths right uh, you cannot add any access control or something so to make a servlet accessible through path you only and only need to add sling dot servlet dot path and then the value right you can add a constant as well what i showed you in that file okay but when you want to uh, register your servlet as with a uh, uh, resource so that you what property you have to add sling dot servlet dot resource type and inside you can give resource you can add as many as the resources you want means you can bind your servlet with multiple resources as well what method it will support you can define those methods as well using this or you can define the extension and selectors as well these methods extension and selectors work with only resource type servlet with not path okay then you have to extend those classes two classes as i told you right if you have get and post both then you have to extend sling all method servlet otherwise if you have only get or get like method then you can use sling safe method servlet right now now let's understand how you can write as per the ds 1.4 means declarative services 1.4 or r7 in r7 annotations we have a specific annotation for both type of servlets so suppose you want to make a servlet as a resource type then there is a property of uh, uh, annotation available sling servlet resource type right inside that you can define properties right earlier you see like if you i show you here it's here is you know uh, you have to write constant and equal and in this way you have defined it's not clean but if you see here inside this annotation there is a clean there is a variable available and against that variable you can pass values right like resource type extensions methods right other concepts are exactly same and inside component you have to define service as a servlet right this is the way you can you know write a resource type servlet as per ds 1.4 but if you want to define a path type servlet right path bounded servlet there is a annotation available sling servlet paths right and inside that you have only defined values right this property and what is those value the path you can give path or you can add more than one path rest of the concepts are exactly same so that way you can write you know servlet in ds 1.4 so because this is a big concept you know so this cannot be completed in a single video single tutorial so i'll write different tutorials at least one tutorial for each type of servlet to explain in detail right so why explain this in separate tutorial because these are the basic concept so when i start writing uh, servlet different different type of servlet you should know right what is the purpose of you know extend what is uh, what kind of you know how, how you can bind servlet uh, with resource and with path right so i hope you understood right uh, in coming tutorials we will discuss these each servlet in detail right for this if for the, these basic concepts if you have any any uh, uh, doubt so please do comment i try to answer it thank you very much